Well, we've had some stuff go down, literally with our aviary setups and just our entire setups for our parrots. We've had some issues. I'm gonna walk you guys through what happened. Yikes. So we had a pretty harsh winter and we've had this 15 foot aviary setup for years now, never had a problem. However, this last year, the snow took the aviary down. Just took the roof down, but really bent a lot of panels. Just really bent this thing out of shape. It was very sad. How's it looking? Pretty bad. Really? Yeah. Like all the parts are just ruined? Um, like this, that upright, like this, but on the, that side of it yeah. is bent. Feels like a pretty significant loss. We looked into having a roof made, a special roof made. Everything was leading us into dead ends. We finally just got frustrated, obviously had to take the roof part of it down. So we did that. We hauled all of that out and we just decided to buy some netting and put that over the top so that we could use this aviary as more of a temporary enclosure, which is pretty much how I've used it in the past with Project Birds anyways. So I just kind of have birds in there for desensitization. They're not really left too much unattended, especially now that it'll just be a netting roof. Um, roof. <laughs> So that's our solution for now. We couldn't find any cage companies to make a solid roof that the snow would just slide off of. And any sort of handyman locally that we tried to hire did not want the project. So fun times, moving on. I can't believe it. When all this fell, there's like tons of sharp edges that somehow I avoided. Man, what a disaster. It's a really big bummer because all of my perching in that big 15 foot diameter aviary came from the roof. So I like hung everything from the center to keep it really safe. And now that I don't have that luxury, I've got to get creative with what I'm going to do for decorating that aviary and making it useful for any birds that are going to go in there. As for our usual 5x8 aviaries, which are in our garage and then we are able to push them out because they are on casters or wheels, we have to push them outside so that the birds get sunlight and all of that when the weather permits since we get all four seasons here in Idaho. Ah, we had some close calls. We had some times where we were finally home for the hormone season and it was really scary <laughs> with all of our birds. It seemed like they all wanted to just eat each other. So. Um, I remember there was a moment where Comet got Cressy's toe and luckily I was out there and this is all through divider panels and the divider panels are great for keeping the birds separated. They're not necessarily great for keeping the birds safe from one another if both birds want to get each other and think that they maybe have a chance at doing so. And when it's a little off balance like a macaw versus a gray, it gets a little iffy and scary. So we just had one too many close calls with these dividers and if we did double dividers, it was really gonna cut into the space that the birds have in each aviary side. So we didn't wanna do that, so we decided to go solid. So Corners Limited made us some custom divider panels that are completely solid. We figured if the birds can't see each other, they won't try to get each other, and it'll just be overall better. Um, we've had some issues in between our flock dynamic really changing over the years as the birds get older, and we just kind of felt like what would help curb that is maybe if we could share an aviary <clears throat> between two birds that don't necessarily like each other if the divider is solid and they can't see each other. So an example of this would be my macaws, Tusa and Jinx. Jinx really hates Tusa and it just kind of gets all three of my macaws fired up when Jinx wants to go after Tusa, then Tusa's brother Comet wants to get involved and it's just a whole thing. I figured maybe it would calm everybody down if they can't necessarily see each other because I haven't been able to house Tusa and Jinx right next to each other because they'll just go at each other through this divided panel. Now that I have a solid one, I thought that would be pretty amazing. Now I could house Jinx and Tusa in the same aviary that's divided by this solid panel and maybe have less issues. I don't know, maybe they'd know the other one was on the other side. I haven't tried it yet, <laughs> but 
I'm hoping that it gives me more options for housing my birds, um, especially in the fall, winter, and spring when the weather just isn't nice enough to get them outdoors and utilizing my other aviaries and other spaces. So these are my hopes. The things that we do and don't like about these solid dividers because I know a lot of you are like, should I do that? Here's the options to weigh. The solid dividers are way heavier. So these aviaries to push in and out now, which is the primary purpose that we have them, is for them to be able to be utilized outside as well. So much harder for one person. I have a way harder time pushing these aviaries around. The other problem is I can't see where I'm going anymore. I used to be able to just push the aviary and see exactly where I was going and navigating to. Now I can't because it's solid. So I have to creep around the sides, go check, go to the other side, pull, push, all the things. Way harder to move these around because they're so large. They're all five by eights. So not crazy about the new weight, not crazy about not being able to see well. However, what is kind of worth it is that my birds are safe from each other. And that's really my number one right now because as I said, as my flock gets older, the dynamic between them really changes and I need to be ready for that. So what used to work, which was housing all three of my macaws in one aviary, uh, doesn't work anymore. Even housing two gets a little iffy pretty quick. And so I need to have the space to divide all of my birds up so that they can't pick on each other, especially when I'm out of town and I have a caretaker watching them because usually my caretakers are not able to reach in there and move my birds around for me. So I need to be able to set them in a way that is not gonna cause issues that where one could get hurt. So that's why we made the changes that we did. We also have been looking at our garden setup and realizing that we've had it for about 12 to 14 years or so and it's really showing a lot of wear. You have to shove your hip into each door to get it to close. Uh, there's definitely some rust on the outside which luckily isn't uh, isn't in a space where the birds could reach it, so it's not affecting the birds yet, but it's just something where I'm starting to look at these aviaries and see their age, and I realize that an update to that setup is going to be needed here soon, and so I've been playing with some ideas, so I'm going to show you what we came up with in that space, because Currently, we've had round aviaries, which are beautiful, and I absolutely love the way they look, which is why I went with round. Uh, but in order to utilize as much space as I actually have, we decided to go with more of like a square slash rectangle shape so that I can utilize the space better and make the enclosures larger and fit more enclosures. So that's the cool thing is currently I only have four aviaries in my garden set up, but in this new setup design, I would have seven, which would allow me to get almost my entire flock out there, which would be so cool. And I could have everybody pretty much divided. All right. So let's take a look at our new aviary design. This is what we started with. So we kind of started with having a maximum of all of this space. But then we learned pretty quick that in order to put a roof around it, because the company making this aviary cannot make a roof that can withstand the snow load. So that brings us over here. I was looking on Pinterest, and this is kind of the general idea. It definitely won't be this large, but just the general idea of having like a real roof that can handle the snow load. We don't want something that'll throw the snow load off. Um, because it could ruin the fence of the garden. So we're going for something kind of generally like this, which would go over this space. Now what we realized with this um, aviary design is that we actually need space to put in these things, which cuts into the space we have for the actual aviary. So instead of 16 feet, we went in a foot and this is now 15 instead of doing 20 across and having this extra aviary over here that kind of had a built-in catch-all we just cut that completely off because a roof like this will look really funny if it has a little thing sticking out so we decided it would just look weird and to make this a full square that would be 15 by 16 yep 15 by 16. so that's what we decided to do and then the cages would all be along here and then there would be a middle section that would basically act as our full catch-all for all the aviaries and also all the feeding stations would be from the middle. So you'd actually like enter here and you'd be able to utilize all this space and access all of the feeders that way. And this would be divided into seven enclosures. So it would be three on each side and then one smaller one going down the middle here. 
Another new exciting addition is our new setup right here in the garage where I take care of all of my birds. We added this amazing feeding station so we just fill these up. These actually just pop right out. We can fill them up with all the birds pellets and then we can easily dispense them. I'll show you what it looks like with my handy dandy bowl holder. So these are the bowls we use to feed our birds. Simply place it under. You can just twist this and it adds it in. So it makes it really easy for my caretakers where I just tell them how many spins it takes to feed the birds and portion size is really easy. So I have my bowl holders over here. These are actually just waiting to go in the trailer. But we have all these new dispensers. I got it off of Amazon if you're curious. It's basically like a hotel cereal dispenser. And then we added this brand new sink with a garbage disposal, which is amazing. So we get to put stuff down the drain and our own little mini dishwasher. So now we can finally wash all the bird dishes on their own in one spot. And it works really amazingly. So that's the latest addition to being able to do a better job taking care of our birds. We're probably the most excited about this addition. All right guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know which setup you like and what you think of our new design that we hope to create in the next year or two, depending on finances, because this thing's a lot. <laughs>